And I was listening to your one of your ballads, and yeah. did I or did I not hear part of Romeo's balcony speech in that song? Well, yeah, the song is called Envious Moon, which is the first right. based on the speech. And the first line is Romeo is banished. Uh huh. Felt for some reason appropriate to root it in this sort of mm -hmm. classic language of love. Yeah. You are the romantic, aren't you? <laughs> I am a, I am a romantic. Do you think the, that America is ready for an openly gay recording artist, pop artist? I don't know what America is, I don't know that America knows what America is ready for. Right. I think that, you know, I was talking to somebody last night at, at the, uh, the Fusion event and he was, he's an agent slash manager, lawyer, and he was talking to me and another actor and he said, well, you know, you can't be a black actor and come out of the closet. It's just it's suicide. Aren't you tired of hearing that? And he said to me, not not to me, but in front of me, knowing yeah. who I was, and and I thought, you know, he's to some extent he's right. Yes. But if I had not done it, and if I don't keep working on sharing stories, how would we know? Right. No, there's a whole lot of internet traffic right now about bring back Noah's Ark, and yeah. there's the yeah. fan page on Facebook. What do you think the likelihood actually is, and are you? Um, are you interested in playing in examining Noah again? I love that the fans want to see the show, and I love that that they feel so connected to the characters. But it's this, it's just you know part of my what we were just talking about. Part of my transition will have to be letting that character go. I remember a conversation we had, uh, me, you, Christian, and Rodney, when we were shooting at the swap meet. Yeah. At lunch, and I remember thinking we were all talking about like, suppose this is it. Suppose this is the one big thing. And to an extent, it very well may be. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's I'm, like I said, I'm putting out other stuff, I'm working on other things, but acting has been a very interesting process since that show. You know, you and I are open about our sexuality. That also kind of keeps us in a box that people aren't necessarily looking to open on a regular basis. So we, it's been, the acting part of this journey has been really interesting. When people see you on TV from their living rooms, they, think that you are that person. They don't understand that you're not that person. They, you become their friend because mm -hmm. they visit you at home. I love Noah. I think he's a, he's an amazing guy. Uh, I love what he represented for black gay men and, and the challenge, the way he challenged black gay men to look at themselves. But I also feel like I played him a little close to myself, a little, I, I internalized him in ways that I think make it challenging for people to see me do anything else. I just took him very much to heart. After that aired, people were really expecting me to just be that guy for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I got into relationships where people were expecting me to be that guy. It was, it was all very sort of eye-opening in, 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 in the ways that people, like I said, just perceive you on TV. What do you think your common denominator is about the guys that you've chosen to go out with. And like, what do you look for? You know what, I'm, I'm not dating right now because I think I'm, I'm in a space where I'm sort of reevaluating all that. I think for a long time it was, I want somebody who I uh, like spending time with, who's funny, who's personable, who's kind, and who shares my views on monogamy and uh, understands what it, what it means to live with integrity and be in a relationship. And we're not gonna leave you hanging like
like that. So if you want to see a little bit more of Daryl and Doug on our No More Download website, go to the Episodes tab and click on the bonus video feature. Oh, and by the way, Doug just landed the role of administrator of Pine Valley Hospital on All My Children. Congratulations, Doug. Let's see what Kendall's up to. Kendall?